So the Eagles and the 49ers both drop a game and now tied with them. At the top of the NFC standings are the Detroit Lions following their 20-6 to win against the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers, we said we expected this, that Tampa Bay, despite the 3-1 record, was probably a little bit overhyped by some people. They, they're, they're a good football team, but when they play the big boys, and I guess Detroit now, you have to consider them a big boy, they kind of get pushed around a little bit. And it wasn't a total domination from start to finish by Detroit, but definitely the Lions made a statement in this game. Especially, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, yeah, go, it's go like ahead. I said, once uh Baker Mayfield's under pressure, I said this was the week you were going to see him stop putting up those incredible pressure stats. I was watching the game on TV, they put up a thing like, look how good Baker Mayfield's been under pressure, incredible completion percentage, incredible passer rating, immediately pressured and throws his first interception <laughs> of the game. Uh, yeah, B- Baker finishes 19 for 37, 206 yards, and an interception on the flip side, Jared Goff. Ends the day 30 for 44 for 353 yards, a season high, two touchdowns, no picks. He's just been great all year. In Detroit, what you have to love if you're a Lions fan, they're they're not even healthy yet. David Montgomery got hurt in this one. He'll be out for a couple weeks, it seems. Jameer Gibbs didn't even play. And they're still clicking. They're still humming. Amon Ross St. Brown was amazing. Jamison Williams was introduced with a 45-yard touchdown uh, in in the game. But to me, despite the Lions' offense being as good as it is, and it has been... Really good this year. Seventh in yards, ninth in points per game. Or sorry, fourth in points per game and um, and fourth also in yards. It's the defense to me oh, that yeah. has been impressive. Because last year, you were talking about a team that was last in yards per game allowed and 28th in points per game allowed. And that's, I mean, it was just a killer. They were like the Vikings defense. Anyone could do whatever they wanted. This year, seventh in yards allowed per game, ninth in points allowed per game. Complete difference where we said if they were average, this Detroit team became a contender. And now they're not just average. They're playing nearly elite defense. And uh, you, you got to be pumped up if you're a Lions fan. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, it's, it's nice watching the Lions not have to win a game 38-35, where offense yeah. balls out, but your defense looks like Swiss cheese. Holding any NFL team on the road to six points is awesome. And they did what they had to do. Like we said this last show, the Bucks are not a team built to make a comeback. Their defense is decent, but not built to come back. The Lions got ahead, and they stayed ahead. And then and the, the defense was awesome. It was a Lions home game, too. A lot of Lions fans there. Was Lions fans have been traveling well. Yeah, they've been year. traveling. I mean, they're, they're into it now. With 5-1, and one, tied for first place in the NFC. Yeah, I had to do a double take when I was looking at the, the little ticker at the bottom when it said Detroit 4-1. and one. I was like, you got, what is going on here? It reminds me of like what I've said in the past about the Dolphins. It's nice to see them now being able to win games kind of both ways. Where mm-hmm. if you only score twenty points, you're not going to lose thirty-one to twenty. You win twenty to six. Yeah, no, they, they've been great, Ziggy. When you look at Detroit right now, are you ready to say, yeah, they're on t- they're on the same level with the Niners and the the Eagles? I don't know how you can't. I mean, yeah. people are saying that this is a team that needed every single thing to go right. Well, they had forty rushing yards this game. Did not matter. Right. Jared Goff was consistently able to get things done. And when you talk about complete teams in the NFL, right, to be a real contender in the NFL, you either need Patrick Mahomes or you need a solid offense and a solid defense. Like those those are the two ways to compete in the NFL. And the Lions aren't going out and getting Patrick Mahomes. But they're one of those teams that's complete. Like, are they really worse off on the completeness factor than the Eagles? You know, their quarterback's better than the 49ers, even if the skill position and defense is a little worse. The offense is better than the Eagles. The defense is better than the Dolphins. They're more consistent than the Bills. They beat the Chiefs. Like, this is a team that can play good football and has good players at almost every position. You worry about the secondary depth, but I imagine that they're going to be fixing that when the trade deadline hits. So, yeah, I think this team is up there clearly in Tier 1. They're five and one and they're legitimate five and one, right? They're not getting here by getting fluky one point wins. Their only one point win was against the Chiefs. Like, yeah, what 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 more do you need to see from this team to think they're a real contender? Zach, why are you why are you laughing at this? I'm just just hearing the fluky one point wins, and it just reminds me of average Kirk Cousins again. Oh, all right. Enough <laughs> of that. Enough. Okay, well, but look, I'll say this. It's absurd. If you want the Lions to be contenders, you need that one seed. Right. This is just true. You want the playoffs to go through Detroit. And boy, this team's got a game against the Broncos. They got two games against the Vikings. They got two games against the Bears. They've got a game against the Raiders. 
again, I, I hate talking about schedules too much. I feel like I've done that a lot this show. But boy, howdy. There it is. You're That's five and one, <laughs> and you've got t- a bunch of easy games left on the schedule. They play one good team the rest of the season. They play two good teams. Excuse Crazy. Me. And, and you they just go to Baltimore Eagles. next week. They go to the Cowboys, and that's it. And we, we, you just said, Ziggy, and I agree how you just look at the uh, look at the eye test the first six weeks. The, Phil- the Eagles have not looked fantastic, whereas the Lions have been murdering teams. Yeah, no, the Lions like, look I, awesome. After that Seattle loss... It's it's been curtain. They've been killing even in everybody. the Seattle loss. They that was one of those games where they turned the ball. Over. I think there were two really big turnovers. They still scored thirty four points in that game. That swung it back in Seattle's favor. It, it, Detroit's been great, and they're really good in the trenches too. That's what's common with all the great NFC teams over the past couple of years. You're dominating on on both lines, and Detroit has been phenomenal there. It's it's really a a crazy turnaround when you look at it. But overall, you have to consider them right now uh, absolutely a top level contender. If they get the one seed, man, I didn't realize their schedule was that light down the stretch. You just talked about Philadelphia, how how difficult the games are for them over the course of the next six, seven, eight weeks. Can you imagine a one seeded lions? They've been picked on the zero ball for the one seed. Yeah. You, you look at the teams left in the NFC, the Cowboys have the fourth hardest remaining schedule. The Eagles, the ninth, the 49ers, the 10th, the Lions, the 31st. Wow, the only wow. team with an easier wow. remaining schedule is the Falcons. Are the Lions going to be the one seed? I, that's, I, a, I, that's a video title right there, if, and it sounds no, like they are, but in all seriousness. No. If they're as good as right now we think they are, with that schedule, you have to say right now they're the favorite to be the one seed. You just you would have to. Yeah. If are you this, believe in Detroit... They are on track to be the one seed. This was also... Jeez, what the hell? This is also a very big win. Because there's been... I mean, I'm sure some people have had their speculations. Like, is this Detroit team legit? I mean, including all, including us. The Bucks were 3-1 and one, first place. It's a road game. Potential type of, you know, type of trap game. Like what happened to the, the Eagles and the, the Niners. The Lions went in there and... Yeah, it was only 20-6, to six, but they kicked their ass. Like they dominated them. Yeah, I, I felt I felt like it wasn't pure domination, but it was it was but definitely the, the Bucks, as I said a statement win. Yeah, there was no chance the Bucks ever had in that game. And look at the Falcons too. Yeah, the teams that they have to beat up on, the Lions are beating up on. And I liked what you said about the eye test before. The, San Francisco has looked really good. Detroit yes. has looked really good. Yes. Sometimes you can like Miami when they're clicking, you know they're a really good football team. Some teams aren't aren't there right now. Like the Bengals were not there until the past couple weeks. Even even right even now, the Bengals yet. really aren't there. The Eagles aren't there. Uh, Detroit's good. 